Hey there, it's Mandy from Mandy Marie Art and welcome to my new daily painting series. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know exactly when I post a new video. Um, so today just gonna jump right in working on some watercolor paper. Um, this is, let's see, an 11 by 15 inch sheet and 140 pounds. So let's dig in. All right, so up first, I should mention, this is an acrylic paint in the color cashew. Uh, Master's Touch comes from Hobby Lobby. I just love using this catalyst wedge. Um, it's, you know, kind of flexible. If you've never used it before, um, this one at least is flexible. Can't remember. This one I think is the 06. Let me just peel back the paint here. Yeah, a W06. There's some chalk pastel. And this one is also a chalk pastel, but in a pencil form. All right, next up I have this Turner Acrylic Gauche. It is in Japanese Black Blue. If you're looking for a lot of color variety, um, and you just don't wanna spend time like mixing up paints, this brand, Turner, they have a ton. Um, I tend to buy mine from um, Blick Materials, but I'm sure other places sell them. So just kind of look around. They're out there. This is another Turner acrylic gauche in pastel marine. Next up, white acrylic ink from Liquitex. I really like working with acrylic ink because it's very light, of course, um, and so it's nice for layering, and you can see that the color underneath kind of shows through, um, so it's kind of fun to work with. Now I'm gonna come in with some Liquitex Burnt Umber. I'm just putting some scratches into the paper. This little tool is a distressing tool from Tim Holtz and I had previously used, you can see a silver alcohol ink on it and that's just leaving some marks which I think is kind of fun
right, next up, this is a water-soluble graphite pencil. And so something that I think is just really neat about water-soluble is, of course, you get it wet. I like the bleeding that kind of happens when you do that. I'm just going to wash over this a little bit. Next color, this is a heavy body acrylic from Liquitex in the color light blue violet. I'm gonna jump back in with the pastel chalk in this really great like fuchsia color. I just love it. Um, this is just like a piece of chalk from a really cheap chalk set. So, um, one of the things that I'm intentional about when I'm creating these videos is finding products, <clears throat> excuse me, products that are a little bit more reasonable. Um, because to get started with art, you do not need to spend a ton of money and you can have a lot of fun with just some everyday items or affordable items. So again, I'm going to link all of that below. I gravitated back to the Turner Japanese black blue gauche um, to really kind of strengthen up that bottom lower corner and just get some more depth um, to the piece. Okay, so I'm really not liking this blue. I'm going to come in with another type of acrylic paint. Um, and let's see just how that comes together. I'm just not really liking that either. So I'm going to come in with some Payne's Gray um, alcohol. Nope, excuse me. It's Payne's Gray acrylic ink over top and just kind of mix it all together and just sort of see what happens. All right, so I'm not really a fan of anything that just happened with that blue color. So I'm going to kind of sit with this. Um, I think I'm gonna let it dry, that whole area there. And we'll just come back and add more to it. All right, so things are dry now here down in this area. And I'm back, I'm gonna cover some of this up. This is probably going to be a phase thing too again. I'm going to have to cover this up with white paint. Maybe. Yeah. Most likely. Not bad. So we're just going to get this layer down and then come back and see if I can save this. Might not be able to. And that's okay. Sometimes it just works out the way that it works out. And it's just about like playing, having fun, layering. So I'm going to let the white dry and come back and see what we can do. All right, so the white is, eh, for the most part, dry. And I'm just not really liking any of this right now. And so 
I cover it up. This will, I don't know, just brush and sleep. And we'll be back again because I gotta let this dry and come back over with some more layers. All right, I decided that while this is drying, I'm gonna come in with some dark titanium white up in this corner here. All right, so we're back. Those layers are dry. It's time to dig in with some burnt umber because mm, I just love a good, rich, dark tone to really just add some balance to a painting. So let's get to using that with a little palette knife here. Much more balanced, but okay. and now I just need a swipe of white in here. Now this I can work with. This makes me a lot, this feels better, a lot better. So it's amazing how like one layer really can, you know, like you can just layer it and eventually it might become something, you know, that you didn't, expect or I don't know it just feels better a little chalk in there and once I get the tape off you can really get to see kind of the full the full look layers oh feels good 
All right. Well, I hope you do enjoy today's day of play. I hope that you get out and try something new. I hope this sparks your creativity, your imagination, your desire to play, to enjoy life. Just do something fun today. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and sign up for notifications so you know when I release my next video. I hope you enjoyed today's content and it sparks some creativity in your life. Thanks for being here and let's meet up again.